the term gaslighting comes from um, films. Two of them were, were made in 1940 and 1944. Um, and as a young woman who goes off traveling to Europe, um, her parents were killed and she's brought up by an aunt and she meets someone who's a piano tuner and she's learning to play the piano and i'm going to say italy i don't know i, I think it is italy um anyway she met she go, they fall in love or he manufactures this relationship with her she believes he loves her they come back to england uh they inherit the aunt's house and there's money and jewels and he systematically over a period of time changes her perception of what's going on and makes her believe she's going crazy um she uh, i think she leaves the room thinking she's turned the light off and when she comes back in she's it's on but he doesn't just do it to her he also does it to the people surrounding her um so he's putting himself in this place of look at me, I'm looking after her and I'm here to protect her, but actually he's abusing her in the, uh, behind the scenes, uh, covertly abusing her. And um, and it's changing the reality, changing your perception of, of reality. And um, it confuses the brain. The brain just cannot compute what's going on. And that's why it's so dangerous. It re really, really is a dangerous, dangerous tool. Um, so gaslighting comes from the film Gaslight, um, which is this the woman leaving, going, coming in and out of this room, thinking or believing she's done something. The one, the second one, I've, I can't remember whether I saw the 1940s one recently or the 44. Um, there was a picture that kept going missing, and the husband kept convincing his wife that she'd hidden the picture, and she'd go to the place where they found it and say, "I don't understand it. I, I just don't remember doing it." It's because she didn't do it, <laughs> you know, it, it was he was he was tricking her, and and it's we've got this built-in intuition that we're born, which which is centuries, you know, old, and it tells us what's right and wrong. It's the gut that we turn off because they tell us that we're too sensitive or we've misread a situation or they didn't mean it they were only joking as they're chopping away at the boundaries around you that you, you you've got you know sort of good boundaries and and they hack away at them and um and they make you believe you are going crazy and you're not they're the crazy ones they really really manipulate the situations to do that so yeah these are really great examples that you're giving um about these two Terms. These are excellent examples. So, you know, I'm curious to know, um, are you going to include like stories like this and examples like this in your book? Are they yeah, going to be I'm trying to. I'm working on it at the moment. I've, I've got articles that I've written. So I'm taking bits of articles and, you know, I've also I've got the A to Z that I'd written to go with the um, Instagram and um the instagram posts and so i'm i pulled them all together and then i'm writing stories around it as well so it's to give people examples because they don't all use this, have the same pattern there is a pattern there's this cycle of abuse which is the love bombing the idealization stage the devaluation stage and and the um and the discard stage so they have that um they all do that it's ju uh, they just have different techniques that they like because people you know, need something to relate to. And, you know, the, the stories you just said, I think so many people can relate to them, especially people who've been through emotional abuse. You know, so many of them have experienced gaslighting, you know, and then you share a story like that in your book, they'll be like, wow, that's what I went through.